I don't think you had the full blown intention to like make everybody super mad. I think you were more interested in just getting a conversation started, which I don't think is wrong. Yeah, cool. I I know I appreciate that you're actually kind of seeing it that way, man. You know, it makes me feel a little bit better about like being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Hunter? Good to see you. Thanks for uh... <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's going all right, man. I know there's a lot of freaking, you know, controversy with uh, my name going around right now. <laughs> Probably just because I'm a d but... <laughs> oh, well, here's the thing. The, the kind of fun part about this is it gives us a chance to, to talk because I actually watched your video. And your yeah. video that you made recently, you named some of the other people that are in the space. And to be honest with you, at first somebody sent it to me and they were like, oh, you know, this dude's bashing you. And I was like, yeah. oh man, okay, here we go. And I watched the video <laughs> and I know that obviously the comment section, the beef between some of, some of the other guys has been, you know, it's been a little bit intense, but I actually watched your video. And to be honest with you, I was like, Hey, you know what? He's got some, he's got some fair points. You've got to be careful in this industry. And the one thing I'll say that I appreciated about your video is that for the people out there who are just viewing our content and viewing the different stuff that's out there, I think it is important to call attention to the things that are legit, the things that are sketchy, the things that you should question yourself as a viewer. That's going to be the big conversation piece that uh, at least, you know, partially I want to clear the air a little bit, right? Uh, just because, um, I know my personality is extremely abrasive to some people and I just, I say things, maybe not necessarily like thinking about how other people are going to take them. Right. And I just say, you know, it could sound really rude or whatever. Um, and then, so I completely understand why it's about 50, 50, actually the comment section, like people are like, okay, I'm glad you're like bringing this to, to light or whatever. And then other people are just, you know, calling me like rude names and like calling me a hater or whatever. And it's not necessarily like you were saying, it's not the intention. I think you actually kind of viewing it the right way. And I'm actually kind of surprised because you're, you're probably the only one that I, in a sense, called out, right. For, and you're actually responding super, super well to it. And it's kind of surprising. So, you know, big props to you, first of all, I appreciate it. Um, but <laughs> the intention, I think you see it kind of a similar way was that there's a lot of newer traders. And what, at least when I was starting out, I was watching some of these like gurus that I thought were gurus and they actually knew what they were for sure doing. Right. And they might just post a video of a strategy that they think might work and it might actually be working for them in a short term, but it hasn't been tested over the years. Right. Yes. Um, and it hasn't been tested uh, with proper risk management on all this stuff. Right. So it's kind of, it was more to be uh, a shedding light and not necessarily like picking and choosing that these were the guys that I didn't like, for example, as much of it, did sound like that I was bashing, you know, a couple of those guys there. It was just name drops. Basically, I pulled out some names that looked way too sharp, sure. too flashy or whatever to me. Right. And really, the goal there is to just kind of tell people like that. I don't think that a lot of these people are living the way they are because of their trading profits, right? They got that YouTube channel. And myself, I'm starting to see it. I'm, I'm blown away with how much YouTube pays me just for a small channel. Right. Absolutely. Um, so I think you can make a great business and I know you have, right? Sure. Um, absolutely. And I think and that that one point right there that you mentioned, totally, totally true. And actually, if you watch some of my content, I straight up talk about it. I, I run a business. Yeah. I have employees that I pay. I have, you know, in person, I have an office, I've got, you know, freelancers, I've got people that I pay there. There certainly is a, a business side of it. Uh, but, and I would agree that there is such an important point to make that just because you see somebody on YouTube talking about trading, it doesn't mean that they're printing money, making zillions out of the market day in, day out. Because truthfully, that's not what I'm doing either. I make a component of my living from trading and investing. I make components yeah. from, like you said, making content. We're here providing a service to people who are interested in this stuff. There's nothing wrong with that, right? If you're, if you're sharing honest content and you actually know what you're doing, absolutely. It's very, very helpful. And, and I believe there's nothing wrong with getting paid for, for services and stuff. But yes, very, very true that if somebody is out there on YouTube claiming that they're just a millionaire trader and not giving the full truth, the honest reality that, yeah, there's a business side to it. It's not rags to riches every day from yeah. just trading. It's a mixture and that's, that's and real life, you know? 
that's totally the vibe that a lot of these guys were throwing off. And that's why a couple of their names were there, right? Because it's just kind of that false impression that I want to, you know, warn people. Um, and that's, you know, part of the reason that your name was even on there um, was you're kind of a different type of guy, but, you know, not the same, the same sort of aspect. You were much more like business savvy type of person, really professional, right? Um, so I really respect that aspect of you. It's, it's just more that, you know, yours, in my opinion, is just straight up pretty much a, a business, right? And that's why I kind of threw your name there. Sure. Um, because it was, it was just a great example of this is a person that's very obviously making a lot of money from the business side of things, right? Absolutely. And I think to that point, I, I do, right? I, I, like I said, employees, the whole, you know, office yeah, space, exactly. it is a business and I would not say otherwise, but that's something that honestly, I don't think is wrong and I'm, I'm proud of it personally. And our team has, has done a lot of cool things. I would add to that though, that I think that that's important to address that you're, you're being a business person with it and not hide. And, yeah. and you know, cause if you're making money, you know, that's not something to be ashamed of. It is in my opinion, something to be questionable if you're claiming that you're just a Forex trader making tons of money when that may not be the full story. Now, True. I will say that, you know, yep. no matter how much money you make from other things, because like I said, you know, you make money from other things, I make things money from other things. And a lot of the guys on YouTube, almost all of them, right? They, they have a monetary incentive to put out content. The big point here though, is that the cool thing about trading and investing is that no matter how much money you have, trading and investing is like a multiplier to your wealth. So if I have money from other things coming in, um, you know, I have, I have a couple different brokerages that I do services for myself and, and our team. I take the money that I make there and I either invest it back into the business by hiring more people, or I take the money that I make. And personally, my own kind of financial plan is I take a certain amount of money of that I make and just put it right back into my trading and investing. I think, um, yeah. I, I mean, I made a, a video maybe about a month and a half ago where I took uh, I think it was like $50,000 and I bought uh, st stocks in the stock market that I personally yeah. have always wanted to be invested in. So I think yeah. there's a there's a good mix. And I actually, like like you said at the beginning, I think there is a value to, to calling out, don't just view YouTube surface level, understand that there's something else going on. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I just, you know, I wanted to know maybe a little bit about like your, uh, your trading then uh, for you, because you definitely seem just way more of a, a, a swing trader and at first glance it doesn't even seem like you make a whole lot of money from trading you know you're consistent over the long run but i think i saw a video where you know you're only making like 10 percent a year or something like that weren't you so you're, you're kind of just swing trading or you're not day trading are you so i do do a little bit of short term like the intraday stuff i have a couple different strategies that i run uh, yeah. and i do swing trade mostly and then i also invest but 10 percent per year is not something that i personally go for i would go for maybe 20 to 30 percent but for I me see, okay. it's actually gotten to be a little bit less percentage goals over time simply because mm -hmm. i'm putting more money in and so the percentage you gains don't, you don't need it as much right so i don't why why risk the whole farm to try and make 100 200 percent a year yeah. when i've got more money on the line if that makes sense so for me, 20 to 30% on some of my swing trading accounts, that to me is like pretty solid. And so yeah. to me, with a larger capital base, it, you know, $50,000, if you make 10% for the year, that's just five grand just from that, from that account. Yeah. If you make 20%, you're talking 10 grand, you're talking bigger money, if that makes sense. Are you, are you not interested in day trading at all? So uh, I don't know. Like day Day trading is something that I still do. Like I'll take yeah. short-term trades uh, if mm -hmm. I see them. Like I have one uh, breakout concept that I have traded pretty consistently for some time, yeah. but it's something that I don't allocate as much money to. So my bigger interests are definitely in the swing trading and even some of the investing side, but it is something, yeah, that I, that I do. Our, I haven't looked, I've looked at your channel a little bit. I haven't yeah. spent a lot of time over there. What are, are you more of a short-term day trader? Yeah, so I can give you kind of an, uh, just an overview for maybe any, any listeners that actually wanted to know what Absolutely. my channel is, is um, a lot of these like, you know, institutional level type style traders, uh, like I've, I've heard people saying that I trade much like uh, ICT mm -hmm. or uh, Chris Laurie or something like that. These guys um, 
when I saw some of their videos just recently, uh, and I actually kind of developed similar methods before I started watching their videos, and then people made it aware to me that I was trading much like them, was their videos were so freaking dry. It's so boring, right? And and nobody really wants to sit there for an hour and a half just so you can learn one lesson, right? Sure, and absolutely. So my goal was to basically create content that's very similar. It's like institutional day trading. Where right. I'm using very, very similar methods. Uh, and then I just want to make the stuff more funny, right? And then we build a community on Discord. Like there's half of these guys just screw around the whole time and like call each other names. It's, it's kind of funny, right? <laughs> in, in the Discord now. So it's kind of like, it's cool to to have this, have this like, you know, fun aspect of Forex now. Absolutely. Rather, rather than just everything just being rather dry. Um, so that's kind of the goal. And, you know, a lot of the stuff, is just for fun, right? It's just it's just kind of like dicking around, and people are are really taking some things kind of seriously, and it might not be the best thing, uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I think you know, obviously we are on YouTube, and YouTube yeah. is a platform that you know, if I make a video that is more entertaining, right? That's why that's why I hired an editor is because I want yeah. my content to be as entertaining and. Honestly, the bigger picture is for me, probably a lot like you, I make content truly because I like to talk about the no nonsense reality of what it takes yeah. to, to actually be a successful trader. You mentioned that I do shoot for lower numbers. My purpose of saying that is again, completely being transparent with myself. I know yeah. that saying 20 to 30% every time I say it, people get pissed at me. I know it. And I, <laughs> for, I I'm for a year. Yeah, well, yeah, if I made 20, 30% per year, some people will, will not like that. And I get that. I'm, but I'm Why, trying it's too to little? be. Yeah, people, people will say, you know, I could make yeah. 20, 30% each month. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's easy to say it's hard to do consistently. I, I mean, that's why you're more of the business side of things, right? Because if your business is growing, then you don't necessarily need to put your focus on the trading anyways, right? Sure. And, you know, maybe your signals are good. Maybe they're not necessarily like the best or something like that. Maybe they're good for swing trades. I don't know, right? Uh, I haven't actually tested them out. But uh, actually, I saw that one video <laughs> from uh, Behiza or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I still I don't know how to say his everyone. name. I feel bad because yeah. I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> I think you just bashed on everyone, though. <laughs> yeah, no, he, um, we actually, we talked about that before he shot that video. He, he was like, he reached out, he was like, Hey, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm trying out some of these different services. And, um, yeah, I think, I think he like broke even on, on my trades for the week, but I think that there, there one, is, one week yes, is not enough. it's not enough. And, and, <laughs> you know, I, I tried to make that point and he actually even did a good job addressing that. I feel like, yeah, um, that guy's he, hilarious. he is. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I mean, it's true with with the business side it allows me to i mean trading is still part of my routine every single day i mean i'm always looking mm -hmm. at the markets it is my business and that's why i take it so seriously not to mention that you know it's in my best interest to trade as best as possible with people yeah. out there watching me you know and um so it, it is true i think it's just that you know there, there's a there's a balance between the entrepreneurship and the the trading and investing again like i said i use trading and investing as a way to to multiply i'm not i've said it in my videos before i don't just trade for a living i theoretically at this point could if i just yeah. you know if i didn't want to run the business but yeah. i love running a business to me it's yeah, a passion it, i'm it, passionate about yeah both. for sure you got to do something with your time man there's certain people that you know they're, they're always going to keep improving no matter what no matter what position they get like look at uh what's this guy sam ovens mm -hmm. uh, if you know him right he's he's making like billions now and he's still just grinding as hard as he can it's absolutely unbelievable because he's sure. somebody who's never going to stop yeah no and you've got what, people right? like gary v too who are just absolute yeah. monsters and <laughs> there, there comes a point I, I mean i don't obviously i don't want to like come across as arrogant or anything but to a certain degree when you when you make good money it's like it's great but it mm. becomes less about the money and more about the the fun yeah the journey you know and and exactly you making content like you said it's it is fun it's fun to build an audience and to meet people through your through your content it, it that's how it started out for me it was just sharing my uh my journey as a trader and then people started watching and i'm sure much like your own yeah 
Yeah, cool. You're kind of doing, you know, a little bit more different things than a, than a, a normal, you know, YouTuber about Forex would do, right? Like, for example, this video, right? You're reaching out to, you, you told me before that you're reaching out to a bunch of different Forex YouTubers, uh, which is kind of cool, actually, like having different people's perspective, uh, maybe, maybe clashing. Um, I just maybe wanted to know if you had any other like ideas or goals that you wanted to add to your channel that you, you're just been waiting to, to throw in. Yeah, that, that's a cool question. You know, I reached out to you and I reached out to a couple other ones too. To me, again, it's all it's all part of the journey. It's all it's all for fun at this point. And yeah, reaching out to other creators, you know, it's hard for me to to deny that that would sound like a lot of fun. So I'm just reaching out to people and chatting with other people who are doing this, whether it's the content creation side, the trading side, the business side. It's just cool to hear other people who are doing something similar. And I knew that when I watched your video, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna reach out to the hunter because I feel like he's got a good point and maybe he just came across like to some people the wrong way, but I think he has a decent message in this. And yeah. here we are, we actually, I feel like we got a good conversation going about it. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely like the story of who I am, man. Like pe people often just like completely hate me because I'm so like mean and abrasive right away. <laughs> but, hey, well, sometimes but... you need it, you know? Sometimes <laughs> you need somebody to, to point out what needs uh, to be yeah. pointed out. Uh, my girlfriend tells me all the time, man, like you can't be so rude. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact that the, the fact that you you like turned it around and you were like cool with this to me shows that I don't think you had the full blown intention to like make everybody super mad. I think you were more interested in just getting a conversation started, which I don't think is wrong. Yeah, cool. I I know I appreciate that you're actually kind of seeing it that way, man. You know, it makes me feel a little bit better about like being an so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the the one thing that I have learned about YouTube is that it doesn't, I, I'm pretty sure you could film yourself standing on the street, giving out chocolate bars to everybody on the road, <laughs> and some people would still hate you. Yeah, just doing that for views, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So like, the honest truth is that you're not going to make everybody happy. And you know, you've seen that I've seen it on my channel, too. You know, yeah, hate sure. comes to everybody and that's that's part of the journey and putting yourself out there, you're in some in some way you're kinda asking for it. And especially when you drop names, you obviously are gonna you're gonna make some people mad. But yeah. you know, I think that having the conversation, you know, it, it opened up a, a decent conversation that I was happy to have because uh yeah. you know, it's it is a good point to talk about. Well you talked about your editor there actually earlier. Um and I was looking at getting a possible editor for myself because you know i had no idea how much freaking time this 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 was going to take and i don't necessarily even put that much time into my videos or editing them mm -hmm. but just like everything else going on right so absolutely um, i'm wondering like how much does the editor really help you right because i only edit my video for maybe an hour a day or something right yeah so or i mean honestly in my current situation i I work all the time. I'm trying to yeah. reduce that. I'm trying to yeah. not work all the time, but yeah. easily eight hours a day, every single day on average. And so yeah. that's with an editor. It, it, it just gets worse and worse. And, you know, best of luck with your YouTube channel, but just letting you know, the bigger it gets, the more work that comes your way. I, yeah, I'm already doing a minimum of 12, man, because I'm trading yeah. for eight hours a day. Right. It becomes, <laughs> it's just a full blown job. And so for me, uh, Hiring Will has been such a, a blessing. And I've also got um, Julie who, who works for me as well. Yeah. And they have been a drastic help because before I got into to doing this, like, again, like I said, when I started my YouTube channel, it was not a business. Like it was not yeah. intention to be like, oh, I, you know, I, I'm going to grow this into a, a business. It was just journaling my experience as a trader. I, I looked back at your very beginning ones. You weren't, you weren't uploading every single day. And then it was yeah. all of a sudden you're just like, okay, it's a business now. Yeah. Well, there was a, there was a day where it came. I, I was watching all the people out there talking about YouTube and they're like, if you want to grow, you got to post every day. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to commit myself to posting every day because I, you know, I have a passion for creating videos. I find it fun like you do. Yeah. And uh, so, but eventually it did become like, okay, well, I'm prepping these videos. I'm filming these videos. I'm editing these videos. I'm answering a hundred emails a day. Yeah. It became too much. And so I just, uh, it was at some point a natural step for me to just say, I need an editor. So do you still, uh, like have a, a huge prep process for your videos or do you just now jump into them? 
uh, and just kind of talk at, at free will because that's kind of what I'm doing now. Yeah. Where at, at first, I had a script, and you can see my original videos. I'm staring at the camera and I'm yes. reading like a script, right? Yes. Now it's just like I sit around and I sit there and I just mess around. So I don't know about you now that you're. That's that's a good question. I think <laughs> um, it depends because some of the bigger videos I will pl will like plan for, like yeah. uh, if it's a if it's a bigger video. Um, like right now, just, I was talking earlier today with, with Will about what we're going to be doing for like the channel hitting hundred K subs. We were talking about doing like a special or something kind of fun and that requires yeah. prepping. So there's stuff that we do that is more planning, but yeah. then there's, you know, the, um, the, the occasional or most of my videos I would say actually are just concepts that I'm like, Hey, you know, I'd like to talk about that. And I don't prep. I just kind of talk about it because I'm sure you're the same way. Like when you've been doing this, when you've been trading and you've been digging through mm -hmm. stuff yourself for so long, it's a conversation that you don't mind having and, and you can yeah. just talk it into a camera. Yeah, for sure. How about you? Uh, so you're, so now you're getting to a point where you're, you're putting out videos. I don't, are you doing every day or are you doing like, it's, it's maybe about five times a week or something okay. like that. Right. I don't want to do every single day. Cause then I just get kind of overloaded. Yeah. I, I don't blame you on that. It's, um, it's like, you want to make sure that the actual content you're releasing is good, right? Sure. Rather than, uh, you know, some of the stuff might just be kind of filler content, right? Right. It's very true. Yeah. And I know you also do um, live streams, right? Yeah. So I want to thank you for that because I, I got the idea from you. Yeah. Well, cool. <laughs> yeah. I saw you were doing that every single day. I was like, okay, this guy is growing fast. So I might as well do the exact same thing. Yeah. Why not? You know, it's... Uh, I. The thing is, there's enough people out there on YouTube and different people vibe with different people. Some people might yeah. find me too uh, uh, too, too nice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard yeah. that before. They're like, <laughs> they're like, you know, quit being so nice. And, and it's yeah. just who I am. It, like, I'm yeah, just, I got you. I don't, I don't do like too, conflict. Too professional and, for, yeah, for, just... for Forex entertainment. For, for, <laughs> right. For, for YouTube entertainment, yeah. <laughs> but truth be told, honestly, when I watch Forex YouTube content, I enjoy watching somebody who's a little bit more abrasive honestly so yeah i see yeah it is like, what it is it's, it's just, just not be, me it's just be more you know? interesting maybe i don't know <laughs> yeah i mean there's nothing so the the point with that is that there's there's plenty of different people out there on the content creation side and there's plenty of people on the viewer side people like different things and so exactly. Yeah. Some people might resonate with my channel. Some people might resonate with yours and some people might resonate with all the other names out there. I was going to ask you, so with the whole situation, with the whole, uh, you know, the video that you made that kind of stirred the pot a little bit, yeah, what's sure. your, what's your plan going forward? I mean, I think you and I, uh, there's, there's nothing, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not upset or anything, but like, just generally speaking, do you have any sort of like plans to follow up on that message? Do you have any plans to communicate with these people at all? Like, do you have uh, anything planned on that? I, the, the way I see it, um, the more, you know, follow up, the more explaining myself, uh, at least to my, my own viewers here, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about it or whatever, uh, just because this is cool. Like, this is like a good, I guess, meeting and, and that's kind of how we met. So this will be the only thing I, I talk about. Okay. Um, and well, cause I know in the, in your video, you had mentioned like, you're gonna, you're gonna talk more about these people. Are you still oh, planning on doing yeah. that or? So by that, okay. So for that video in, in particular, any follow-up information, anyone who already decided that they hate me, I realized they're just going to comment sure. bad again. Yeah. And it, there's no benefit for the people who are actually enjoying the education side of things. So there's no point in posting it, right? Okay. Um, but my previous videos were like, uh, I'm doing like trader reacts that are also incredibly mean sometimes. Yeah. Where I'm basically just reacting to. I did see one of those. I saw yes. your one of the one with Bia Heza. I, I hope I'm saying his name right. I yeah, so that, bad. that was actually probably the most well received one because I actually said I liked him probably because he, he basically said he had no idea what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I did want to do a few more on like some other people. Like I remember I first had the idea for, for uh, Ricky Gutierrez mm -hmm. because he's just so well known in like the stock side of things of, of being kind of a scammer. And I've seen some of his, some of his videos where uh, he just, he talks about making like 2% a day or something like that, like consistently. And yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't, I don't try. I mean, 
one policy on my channel, like you said, I, I stick to the to the professional side. I don't like talk bad about people, but I will say there was one video that I saw that was uh, he was saying five hundred percent per year, yeah, and five hundred percent per year. It revol it like involves like very minimal error along the way, and yeah, it may it maybe other people are are just way better traders than me, but to me it seemed a little <laughs> bit a little bit difficult to uh, to claim that sort of return. Yeah consistently the, easily you know yeah so yeah uh, well we don't have to really jump into him but yeah there will be n new videos for different people if i see something that you know really s sparks my gears there right then i can kind of laugh at it or whatever because this is kind of like a comedy video in a sense yeah and you know more so than an educational side of things because it does actually get a lot of good feedback as well as bad feedback but sure recently we made or i made a a course or just kind of training about building a strategy right because mm -hmm. one of the things that i kind of find valuable and you may agree with this is building your own strategy yeah. makes you know your own strategy so much better if you just yeah. get something like you said there there's no doubt there's a lot of stuff on youtube that people are just like oh well you just buy when this crosses this and yeah. it's like you can say that but it doesn't mean anything if you don't test it and forward test it and stress test it and do all the steps required. Yeah. And so I made, but anyways, the point with saying that is I made a playlist on my YouTube channel. It's completely free. There's four videos in there right now and they are severely getting less views, but yeah. they genuinely are possibly the best content I think I've ever made in terms of actually learning. And so there's this, there's this cross, there's this, there's an incentive when it comes to making YouTube videos to make stuff like doubling and tripling your accounts to yep. make really cool B roll to make, you know, life of a millionaire forex trader on the beach, because yep. truthfully those get so many more clicks. So it, that was frustrating me the other day when I was making those videos <laughs> and seeing like no views so, on them, you know? So here, here's, here's the plug for that video. Then I suppose anyone watching right now, <laughs> you should go, go check it out. Like, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for coming on and I'm super excited to see how people react to it. Yeah. Awesome. man. and I'm really interested to see how, you know, you grow as your channel, you know, being one of the biggest ones, I, I just kind of like to see all of the ideas you come up with and then maybe throw my own twist on it and whatnot. So. Absolutely. I'm excited to, I'll be uh, watching your channels too. You got a, you got plus one subscriber. Oh yeah. That's going to help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, thank you very much for coming on uh, yeah, and so. we'll stay in touch.